Why our brains fixate on the bad things? When you enter a room, do you immediately pick out everything wrong such as a crack in the tile or a scratch on the wall? After a lengthy conversation, do your thoughts focus on the one negative comment that was made? While among a crowd of people, are you constantly scanning for threats? All these events have one phenomenon in common, negativity effect. While negativity effect can be life-saving on duty it can wreak havoc in your personal life. What is negativity effect? Negativity effect is the brain's tendency to be impacted more by negative events than positive ones. The brain registers, focuses, stores and recalls negative events much more readily than positive ones. Studies have shown that the brain's electrical activity increases when focusing on negative stimuli as compared to positive. Dr. Rick Hansen once said, the mind is like Velcro for negative experiences and Teflon for positive ones. The biological basis of negativity effect. Our brains have been hardwired through evolution to focus on the negative. Traced back to prehistoric days, primitive man had to be able to register threats to avoid danger and increase survival rates. Individuals who were more attuned to danger stayed alive longer and passed on their genes. Focusing on the bad developed as a way of our brains keeping us safe and it is still wired into our genetics today. Now I will tell you 7 ways how to overcome negativity effect in your personal life. 1. Write it down. The first step is spending time every day to focus on what is right in your life. An easy way to achieve this is to write down 5 things for which you are grateful at the end of each day. It could be the sunset, nice weather, your child doing well in their football game, or a compliment received at work. There are a million things to express gratitude about and writing them down helps override your brain's focus on the negative. 2. Celebrate victories. If you lost 2 pounds, reward yourself with a new workout outfit. If you received a good performance appraisal at work, take your spouse out to a celebratory dinner. Look for victories every day. Keep track of them in your gratitude journal and celebrate them. Look back over the list of your victories at the end of every week. This will help remind you of all the positive things in your life. 3. List good experiences. Since the brain's natural tendency is to remember bad events, prepare a list of good experiences that have happened throughout your life. Take time throughout the day to reflect on these experiences in detail. The more detail, the better. 4. Distract yourself. When you are experiencing negative thought loops or engaging in negative self-talk, do something physical to distract yourself such as going for a jog, spending 10 minutes stretching or lifting weights. 5. Ixnay the jabs. Avoid conflict by holding back on negative jabs. Negative comments cause a great deal of damage to a relationship that is difficult to repair. Take time to cool down and then discuss whatever is bothering you later. While it is best to avoid negative comments, remember they will happen. Keep in mind that for a healthy relationship, the ideal balance between negative and positive is about 4 colon 1, or 4 positive interactions per every negative. So next time a negative comment is about to slip out of your mouth, ask yourself if it is worth having to work four times as hard to repair it. 6. Breathe mindfully. Mindful breathing is another way to combat negativity effect. Something that works well is a breathing technique developed by performance coach Brendan Burchard. Sit in a quiet location and breathe in deeply, hold your breath for a few seconds and then exhale. While you breathe out, say out loud release several times. 7. Avoid negative hot zones. Limit the amount of time you spend in negative hot zones. Often listening to the news or spending time on social media can create negative emotions. If this is an issue for you, it is best to limit your time in these areas. While negativity effect has a role in safety while on duty, it can wreak havoc in your personal life. To operate at peak performance on and off duty, you will need to learn to manage your brain's instinctive tendency toward negativity effect while off duty. A few simple steps can help modify our default settings while not at work and create a happier and healthier home life and a safer and more productive work life. I hope you enjoyed the video, and that this video will help you lead a better and happier life. If you liked the video, leave me a like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.